Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of the First Star Scholar Advisory Committee podcast. This week's episode is on social impact and I will be your moderator. My name is Addie. My name is Alex. Hi, my name is Eve. And I'm Isabel. Thank you all for taking the time today to hop on this call together. Um, let's dive into social impact. So our first question is, what is a current medium of yours or how do you, how do you best cope? Um, um, I guess I'll go first. Um, me personally, I know a lot of people can relate to this, but music and like mainly like playing instruments and poetry is sort of the way I like cope I guess um it's just like really hands-on and but with poetry it's like more intuitive I guess more in my head so it's kind of like the best of both worlds for me um so yeah um, so my medium is like building things because I just love to like just put stuff together and like just do stuff with my hands that I can concentrate on. Like it's something that is very stressful relieving for me. And I guess it has like a lot of opportunities for me. Awesome. I think for me, um, creating music is definitely medium. Um, it's just like for me, I can connect with music on like a different level. And, you know, when I can't necessarily talk about what I'm feeling, I can put it into music and it just reaches a deeper level of emotion than a lot of times like words can. So um, I just use that and yeah. Thank you. Yes. So when talking about our mediums, Eve, you had mentioned reaching in for that deeper connection of ourselves. And I think that's so important because, you know, I feel like we're oftentimes pulled by what society tells us, but when we really ask the question, you know, what do I want? Um, really fostering those mediums um, is so important. So yeah, keep channeling those inner creatives uh, Lego building. <laughs> I picture Alex, you know, just building this like architectural like landscape and Eve and Isabel uh, collaborating on the next best hit. So keep up with your mediums uh, to transition now. Um, what's what's a current passion or how what motivates you um, to explore those mediums? I think for me, um, helping people is one. And I know that's kind of like general, but ever since I was like a kid, I had this want to help people because I didn't feel helped and I felt like nobody was helping me. So that's always just been like something that I've wanted to do and just in whatever way that I could. So I think for me, when I create music and I put my feelings in there and I think of connecting that to helping people. It's like if I'm putting something into my music and it's about how I'm feeling and then I share that with somebody else and, you know, maybe they can't talk about it. Now they can connect with this, this song or this music and it can help them express themselves or maybe they're hearing this and they're like, oh, well, I feel this too and I don't feel so alone. Leaders, that's awesome. Anybody else? Um, well, I mean, I don't have like a like clear cut passion, but I do have like this affinity for like anything creative um, because it is a way for me to just like get my message across because like Eve was saying, like sometimes it's just hard to put into words like what we want to say and like, through video production I took a video production class and I was like oh my gosh this is like so crazy um and broadcasting I can just like literally just broadcast my message and you know poetry too I can just put it on paper thank you for sharing that that part about you know when talking about a passion you know we also I feel like 
I need to find this most complete idea of what my passion is and you know I need to change the world but like also it's a passion can be like personal like you were talking about Isabel you know like finding that way that best shares how you feel and how you express yourself you know that's that's impactful so what you're what you're both doing is what I hear is leaders you're being like leaders even if you might not even know it um you're impacting someone um but I want to give the floor to to Alex if you have anything to ask. Um, like for my passion, it's also like a very general passion, but it's like creation, because it's not just like things like building. It's also things like just creating anything, like creating a piece of writing, creating poetry, anything like that. I just love to do that, and I also like for like what I create to make a difference. So, like, it actually has, like, real meaning out in the real world. And just, it is so meaningful to me to be able to create things. Mm. Creation. I feel like that's definitely feels like a theme in social impact. It's how, how do we continue to create different avenues to, to create better impact on ourselves and the people around us. Um, and it stems from a, a loving a place. So I think that's that's so beautiful that you were able to share that with me. Thank you and us. Um, so now diving into why, why do we have these certain mediums and passions? And I wanna talk about, um, or let's explore how our first star experience has shaped our mediums and passions, if at all? Um, I guess I'll jump in. Um, uh, well, I went to camp, right, over the summer. And at my program, we had college prep. And one of the activities we did was to, like, write a poem to go along with this, like, little art piece we did. Um, my art piece wasn't that great <laughs> um but my poem it was it was from the heart they let us have a couple days to work on it and I felt like along with the art piece though it came to form this whole idea and it felt really complete to me and everyone was like oh my gosh your poetry is so good <laughs> and they were all like writing like good poetry um but that really influenced me and it like I learned that I like really like it to write poetry um and just like learn about myself through that I think for me one of it's not necessarily uh or it hasn't yet been the program it's more been the people that I've been surrounded by in the program and like an example of that is Mr. Isaiah he runs the the first star program in New Jersey and he has a very strong passion for music and so I guess seeing that exemplified in him has encouraged me in my passion for music and my passion to help others and seeing what like how he gives back into the kids and just the people that I'm surrounded with in the program are are very um just encouraging like very uplifting and I think that's it's really the community that I'm surrounded with more or less than it is the program. That's a great point. Okay, so for me, like first star, like Isabel mentioned uh, Summer Academy, like the camp. And like during, during Summer Academy, we did some STEM activities and that let me like channel my passion into actually like building something and seeing what that like did and it, I thought that was super cool and like also as Eve said like the people in First Star have really affected me because um my coordinator for uh in Kent uh her name is Miss Welch and she has definitely like encouraged me to like use my passion to like really affect people and I think that's really been helpful for me. So channeling this sense of community and being surrounded by 
a strong support system is what I'm gathering kind of helps us shape our mediums and our, and our passions. So now diving into social impact, um, in your own words, um, right now, what do you, what do you feel social impact means to you? Or even in your first star, you probably guys have mentioned how, you know, the people in these programs, whether it's a teacher or a mentor or another student, how, how do you feel that being in first star has made a social impact on you? Okay, so I guess like being in first star has definitely like opened up a lot of opportunities for me and just like so many other different things. And it's helped me connect to others who are in similar situations that I have been. So it's really impacted me that way. But it's also impacted me because like it gives me the chance to make a difference. And it like lets that be like something that I can easily do if I want to and if I put effort into it. And that's really impactful for me. Thank you for sharing. I I agree with you, Alex. And I, I just think that like, some of the opportunities that have been opened up are really amazing. And I think part of the impact that they have kind of along what you were saying, Alex, is they're giving you the, the platform more or less to make a social impact upon others, which I think is, it's just really cool. And then just like the impact it's had on me personally, watching like some of these, these leaders, I guess you could say, pour into us is I don't know, it just gives you some kind of almost like a reminder that there's still good in people and that there's still like so much good that can be done. And like, you know, not everybody is like a bad person. I know that sounds a little weird, but just like their passion into people also inspires my passion as well. Um. I wasn't paying attention. Can you just like repeat the question like one more time? And yeah. I'll um, so in your first star programs, how do you feel first stars impacted you personally? Um, f- me personally, I mean, it's kind of like the whole point of first star, but seeing that the youth um, counselors or whatever they're called, um, are like all of them or almost all of them in my program have been through foster care and you know have experiences similar to mine and they're in college and they're like getting along with it and before the program I was (laughs) I was like so unsure I was like "Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna go to college but Um, After seeing, like, the example that's been set by the leaders in my program, it, it just, like, really inspired me to, like, believe in myself and know that whatever happens, like, I can go to college. Okay, okay, snaps for that, snaps for everyone. Wow, even, you know, as a college student right now, I could definitely relate to this feeling of uncertainty of what, what do I want to do like for the rest of my life? You know, is college for me? Does, do I belong in that, that space? And thank you all for sharing, you know, these, these connections that you have made with first star and the, the nuances and um, the uncertainties as well, because, you know, as much as, it's important to find our passions and these mediums. I think it's also important to explore new trajectories. And um, often, you know, I feel like as, as people in care, you know, we, we feel, or at least I feel, um, (laughs) uh, I feel that um, sometimes I don't belong, like, you know, but we do belong, you know, and whether that's on campus or maybe that's taking a gap year or studying abroad. Personally, um, I'm going to be honest, I did not go to a traditional American college my first year 
I went abroad and I highly recommend it because it was completely transformative and um, just asking those big questions like, you know, what is my purpose? Like, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? And not being sure about what we want to do is completely normal. And um, so thank you, Isabel, for sharing that, that that was so powerful. And um, to kind of wrap up our session today, um, you know, you guys had mentioned, but maybe to, to emphasize a little bit, how, how do you feel you can make a social impact? You know, taking in these experiences from First Star and, you know, a lot of you have mentioned how you were positively impacted by, you know, the mentors and the leaders. How, how do you feel um, you can, can leave a social impact or what does a social impact look like for you? Mm, I'm going to go the obvious route. Um, referring a scholar is probably the best idea I have because just of like the magnitude of like impact it has had in like my life and how it has changed my attitude about like almost everything about myself. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, for me, I guess, like, I can make a social impact by, like, doing things like reaching out to others to help them and, like, creating things that do make a difference. Like, honestly, like, Isabel, like, she can write poetry to do things and, like, and have that poetry reach people to help them. And, like, with Eve, she can write music and that would be, like, just mm -hmm. beautiful. And so, like, those are all, like, amazing things for social impact. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I agree. Alex. Thank you, Alex, for um, saying that. Um, I think, for me, one way I can make a social impact, like Alex mentioned, is, is using my music. Um, like, letting, I guess like a step to that would be letting the uncertainty, like you were talking about Addie, the uncertainty of the future and like, what am I supposed to do? What's gonna happen? How am I gonna use this? And just letting that fear and uncertainty of what might happen if I make a step in that direction, letting that go and, you know, really using my music to reach other people, you know, cause for me, that's one thing that's really helped. And just giving back into people, even if it's just like, the simplest thing um and even this like what we're doing right here like I think that's like an amazing way of social impact so somebody might hear this and be like oh so I'm not alone oh this isn't this isn't like uh just me experience other people have gone through this so I think I think there's definitely like I'd want to do that through music but I also think that throughout life there's a ton of little different opportunities and big different opportunities um, that we can take, like, that chance on, if that makes sense. Ooh, oh my goodness, yeah, I just need, I just need a round of applause, like, for everyone. Yes, I couldn't agree more with, with each of you, what you're saying, you know, like, we are making a social impact, like, right now, you know, whether it's referring a scholar, like Isabel was saying, um, building or creating, you know, Alex, and even just being in this podcast episode, like we, we are breaking those barriers and being, being real open and honest. And, you know, that's social impact personally. Um, so thank you. Thank you all for, for coming on today's episode. To, and I wanted to open the floor for any, any final remarks or questions. No? All right. Well, that's a wrap. Bye. As a victim of the foster care system, I find that foster care reform is a subject that has been looked over for far too long. So I want to raise awareness 
by asking one question. Who is willing to break the silence?